Good morning, class. Our lesson today is Phases of Fish Culture. T-L-E-8. Quarter 2. Lesson 2. Week 2. Content Standards. The learners demonstrate an understanding of the concepts and skills in fisheries. Performance Standards. The learners perform the skills in fisheries following safety precautions. Learning Competency. Learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students are expected to short review. One, the pictures shown are examples of what? Two, why is it important for fish to live in their habitat? Three, what are the ways to reproduce fish and for them to grow? Four, based on our activity, what do you think is our lesson today? Unlocking content vocabulary. Estuarine refers to something related to or characteristic of an estuary, which is the tidal mouth of a large river where the tide meets the stream. Spawning refers to the process by which fish, shellfish, and certain other aquatic organisms release eggs and sperm into the water, typically for the purpose of reproduction. Mimics, things or beings that imitate or copy the appearance, behavior, or characteristics of something else. Salinity, concentration of dissolved salts, primarily sodium chloride, table salt, in water. It is often expressed in parts per thousand, PPT, or as a percentage. Brackish water occurs when the fresh water from a river or a lake meets the salty seawater of an ocean body. Fish culture embodies the human effort in raising or maintaining the maximum productivity of all bodies of water and in maintaining fish supply in order to satisfy human needs. To attain these, fish culture has three different aspects, namely fish cultivation, fish propagation, and fish conservation. Phases or aspects of fish culture. Fish cultivation. The rearing of fish under controlled or semi-controlled condition. It seeks to produce as high a quantity as possible of graded fish, uniform size, or two to produce the most weight. Classifications of fish cultivation. A. Intensive. Fish are dependent on the feed provided and water must be replenished at a high rate to maintain oxygen levels and remove waste. B. Extensive. A low-intensity aquaculture system that relies primarily on the natural productivity of a water body, such as a pond or lake, to support fish growth. It involves minimal external inputs like supplemental feeding or artificial aeration, resulting in lower production costs and yields compared to intensive systems. C. Semi-intensive, a method that falls between extensive and intensive aquaculture, utilizing a moderate level of inputs like supplemental feeding and pond fertilization, while still relying on natural food sources in the pond ecosystem. It involves managing fish in a controlled environment with some level of external inputs, but still allowing for natural reproduction and feeding habits. Fish propagation. 
the process of increasing fish life either by natural or artificial means of reproduction. This means that fish may be allowed to mature and multiply by themselves. Types of fish propagation. Natural propagation. Fish reproduce naturally in their habitat through spawning, where eggs are fertilized externally or internally. Semi-natural propagation refers to a breeding approach that involves a combination of natural and artificial methods. In this method, fish are allowed to breed in a controlled environment that mimics their natural habitat to some extent, but with some level of human intervention. Artificial propagation. This involves human intervention to control the breeding process. It includes methods like stripping eggs and melt, sperm, from fish and then fertilizing the eggs externally.